Hello and welcome to some EverQuest news and patch notes for June 2024. So first up, the server select screen has been updated to include additional information about each server. Now it displays the current rule set, current expansion population level, true box status, membership requirement, and a description. Uh, so let's just pop over here to the server select screen and you can see that it is a completely new screen <laughs> and it actually looks really good. Uh, you can see here the population status of all the servers. You can sort it. Uh, well, you can sort the top ones. <laughs> you can't sort them all. Uh, you can sort the expansions on that one, the rule set on this one. Oh, maybe that's because they're all low population. It doesn't do anything. But Teak being the high population server, maybe that's what that's, that is there. So you can see the true box status here. So if we sort by true box status, it's only three servers, current, well, four servers with true box at the moment. Yeah, that doesn't sort the way you would expect it to. But uh, you know, it is, it is what it is. Um, Agnar is still there. It's in Lost Dungeons of Norath. I like how it's Planes of Power locked, but it's Lost Engines and Orath is the last expansion. Uh, but uh, yeah, so that's the new service for select screen. It does also have uh, information when you click on these, like down here. So like Drunel, right? Standard rule set, launched September 2000, merged with Tarimar in April 2005. That was the original server I played on. Then Vizali, or Vizalia in 2005 and Malin in June 2010. Kind of cool. And then if we go like to uh, Ronavai, launch 2001, standard rule set, role playing for per preferred, no common language free trade enabled, merged with Brecket in May 2020. So it's kind of cool. You get a little of that extra information and uh, whatnot around the server. It launched in 99. You know, stuff like that. So 99 is like the only one. <laughs> it's probably still 99, right? Uh, Lachlan. Let's see here. Merge with Vishen. And Strom. Yeah, so there you go. It's pretty neat. Uh, changed there. So let me... Where's Trinell? Let's click that and click play. All right, so while that is loading up, uh, we'll continue here. Uh, so that's there. Enabled free transfers off Thornblade and updated to free to play. Uh, so now you can transfer your characters off there. Uh, there is another merge. So Thornblade and Mischief will be merged. We'll cover that here in a little bit. Uh, Ring of Scale item uh, expansion items are now available in the marketplace for a limited time on Agnar and other servers that have the Ring of Scale unlocked. Fixed typos in messages associated with the lost and found rings that's a lorian song quest line uh the spell name attached to summon modulation shard eight has been fixed emerald of abjuration alteration conjuration divination and evocation are no longer in a lore group but instead are lore Lowered the level requirement to cast transmogful trans trans for trans forgify spell on the trans forgifying hoops. That is a quest in Lauren's song. Uh, the regalia quest our items are now lore. The Porthos spore pendant mycelium amulet and fungal chain now have the tribute values. Fixed an issue with the Traveler's a Tapestry, incorrectly saying it was from North Kinos. That's a teleport item from, uh, I believe, the little loot crates you can buy. Quests and events. Adjusted spawn rate on some older quests where the items would rarely drop. A springly young branches will now be easier to collect in the Hills of Shade. Looking for old, odd-looking beetles should now spawn in the Foundation. Uh, Tyla Ironforge only needs rescuing once. Her father, Brohan Ironforge, will only reward you once. Uh, Spymaster Gifsis uh, will be able to spawn as Fable during the next Fabled event. Fix an issue with trust is earned outsider in Timorous Falls. Not updating correctly when speaking with the Paladins. 
Fix the typo with Arya's dialogue when starting the tutorial. Fixed the Corassian Warrens quest unusual properties and primal terrors step to better clarify each step. Tides of Time, Year of the Dark Pulse, Sand of Oasis, the NPCs should no, NPCs should no longer attack players during zone in. That'll be fantastic. Uh, speed Focus will uh, no longer be overwritten by F uh, Fists of Fury. That's a Monk AA. Fixed an issue where spells cast clicking by an item failed to complete. Increase the maximum number of blo blocked buffs and blocked pet buffs to 60. Shadow Knight updated the class AA Mortal Coil to show the raw values to AC in uh, addition to AC, effective AC, I guess. Uh, all classes, uh, Mystical Tuning gets seven more ranks of that. Uh, all the, well, not all, <laughs> Cleric, Druid, Enchanter, Magician, Wizard proved twin cast all ranks to count down in safe zones and guild halls. Same with Necromancers on their dot twin cast. Heretics twin cast. Paladin updated the class A Blessing of the Faithful. All ranks to show the base value applied to AC. Triggered spell in addition to the AC values. All classes updated the general AA Armor of Wisdom. All ranks to show the base values of applied and AC. Uh, Shroud Keepers have been returned to the Plane of Knowledge. Alright, remove the out of server restriction, or out of combat re uh, regen restrictions for TLP servers. And I feel like this is a, this is gonna cause more headaches than people really realize, because there is not enough mobs in the classic zones to, to do anything. Like, I mean... I'm, I, I play on Teak, I play on Drenel, I play on Verona Vi. And Verona Vi and Drenel, like, a little bit of stuff's d just dead. There's, like, no one in any of those zones most of the time. Uh, Teak, you go to, like, Unrest, there's 20 picks. You go to Gok, there's 20 picks, right? And most of those picks that I go to on that server, there is an AoE group pulling every mob. And, uh, yeah, like, they just... It's just, it's difficult already to get, you know, quality experience in some of these zones that I, at this point, they just need to turn, you know, turn everything into a private instance and, uh, you know, you got a group of six, queue up an instance, you get respawns, you can stay there for four or five hours, uh, or, you know, when your group breaks up and then you can make another one whenever you want. I, f I just feel like, you know, that's the, well, that's where this needs to go. Because uh, that would make the TLP life more enjoyable. Because right now it's kind of annoying to like, you know, do a you know do a camp check. You know the AFK guys or the you know the AOE power levels they're not responding or they have one character responding for three different camps and it's just like you know absolute nonsense. I know camps aren't respected by Daybreak, but you start stealing people's mobs and then you're into like a bot war with all these bots and stuff and it's just like it's not fun it's not a good experience personally for me i don't know about you but you know maybe if you're on the other end of that you, you enjoy taking people's mobs and you know whatnot uh see fixed backstab angles all right uh, fixed rendering artifacts caused by texture quality setting of two medium or low an EQ client. Uh, Terror of Luckland is now free to play, so that means there should be some granted AAs possibly. Um, enabled free transfers off Thornblade and updated to free to play. Here, let's do this real quick. So, all right, well, Voxel the Beast Lord. I guess that was the last time I logged him on. All right, we're going to log him in real quick, and uh, we're going to see if we can get some uh, auto-granted uh, stuff. Let's see here. Where was I? Uh, let's see. Uh, corrected an issue that caused some same level group mates to receive different amounts of AA experience when killing NPCs in the zone there to consider too high for. I corrected an issue where final name reservation block displaying incorrect Information for the next reservation block. Corrected an issue 
and caused some teleport spells that landed on the player while they weren't in control of themselves, such as fear, to move them to zero zero zero, uh, which is like I think the center of most zones. I fixed some reign of fear collection achievement components for the names that match the required items. Created an issue where the name change could time out if the desired name was taken. Fixed various instances of the word crystallized being spelled incorrectly. All right, you uh, display option overlap the windows on taskbar once again works in normal window mode. I've, I, I like so I'm I, I'm on a live server right, so I mean I can use IS Boxer and I can do you know I can click on another window, and the the thing stays right. Now if I click back on here, you know like on a you know a non IS Boxer client, just using the standard. X server, you know, the ever quest executable. The the window minimizes, it cancels your camping, it cancels your it's like, it's like spams escape or something into the window, closes all your windows. It, you know, just it's a terrible experience in all honesty to not use IS Boxer to manage the window on TLP servers. Like I'm 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 like totally frustrated like half the time like trying to make a video and then like having the window minimize and go back and forth every time and like sometimes it won't come back. It's 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 extremely frustrating. <laughs> it's why I don't make very many TLP videos because it just doesn't it doesn't flow with my workflow of being able to like switch between windows quickly. Uh but yeah, it's an it's a nightmare. Um Updated how owned expansion displayed on the server select screen. Added the current expansion to the server select screen. Server status updates at the server select screen should happen more quickly than before. Added a server's true box setting to the home select screen. Now showing server status as low, medium, or high based on the player population instead of just up, which is kind of nice, right? Like, it's kind of sad to see that all the servers are low except for one. <laughs> it's kind of... But, I mean, what do you expect? It's a 25-year-old game. So we'll see. Uh, the game's desktop window can now once begin to move partially off-screen and keep its position in unmaximized window mode. Uh, yeah, hopefully that actually works. Uh, changed the buff, block buff window, block pet buff window, and the server select window. Previously updated, Lorian in collectibles will now to be available, to, will not be available on the collection item dispenser until the next expansion unlocks. 100% sure, not even sure what that means. Uh, see so here, the Oasis of Sky, the Novax will no longer respawn, preventing a hundred Novas from spawning. I have not done that one yet, so I don't know. Uh, fixed crash with the server select window. Fixed crash while using the character selection window. Uh, made adjustments to allow more players online simultaneously. And the Year of the Arpal Key Quest now reward coin via the achievement reward instead of the quest completion. All right, so that is the patch notes. So let's go here to the first bit of news information overload. We get the 411 to share. Uh, so this is talking about, uh, looks like the free to play of Terra of Lucklin. All right. And we're also going to have some ring of scale expansion items in the shop. Which is kind of cool. I mean, let's take a look at these here. Uh, you have until July 11th to buy these. So, let's see. The standard items bundle. You get a painting, ring of scale, the Gorowin translocator beacon. Ah, uh, that alone might be worth buying. <laughs> Contract for the Scorpius, which I believe with that guy. The Devourer Familiar, which would be this guy right here. And the Coctress mount right here, which is kind of cool, right? And then the additional items we get the Vish vishan burning uh relief which i believe is the painting of there the howling stones tomb box uh no idea what that is guys of the iron tooth earth digger which i believe would be this guy right here not that great 
bridle of the Balefire Wyvern right here. The Gorowin Translocator Lantern right here. And the Herald uh, Telka Familiar, which I believe is this Sarnak guy right here. <laughs> the old Sarnak model. All right. And then, all right, we got another one here. The special item bundle for Agnar only. You get the tomb box, which I still have no idea what that is. We'll have to look here in a second. The devourer familiar, the mount, the guys, the bridle of the wyvern, which is another mount, right? And then the herald there. All right, you can see that. Let's see here. Thornblade will be free to play until it's merged. That's right, anyone who wishes to move a character to mischief ahead of the time or move to front of I will finally be able to log in and go, go, go. All right, so that will take place uh, today. So all this is available. All right. And then upcoming server merge. Uh, so it looks like if you have, you know, naming conflicts, they'll be resolved by whoever played last. <laughs> this literally sounds what it is. Uh, there's some other things here, you know, just everything gets moved. Everything on Thornblade will be moved to Mischief. So, and then everything on Mischief will probably eventually be moved to Throne of Eyes. So keep that in mind as you adventure through this game. All right. Uh, let's go here. Oh, getting some messages. All right. So here's the Ring of Scale bundles right here. Inspect this. Uh, additional preview. And then... Howling Stones Tomb Box. All right, so this is a 40 slot bag, giant size. Well, that's, that alone is worth $26. <laughs> so how much is this thing? How much is it? Uh, $64, not bad. It's the price of a PlayStation game, pretty much. Uh, so what do you get here? You get uh, the mount, which uh, gives you terrible stats. These are only like claim ones, too. I think you get them all in this box at once. Uh, let's see here, the bridal, the translocator item, uh, da, da, da. Doesn't say what it does. <laughs> okay, and the mount, it doesn't do anything. Doesn't give any stats either, so that's kind of lame. Uh, does this have any illusion stats on it? Nope. Um... All right, so these are just like cosmetic items for the most part. Uh, the standard item here, Ring of Steel Standard, uh, which gives you the painting. Uh, the painting does not say it is trans. So here's the translocator beacon. So this will translocate you straight to uh, Sky the new Skyfire Mountains in near Gorowin. I uh, get a familiar in that. Now, let's go back to this one real quick. Expect. Now, yeah, it says it says it does does nothing. <laughs> I guess it's just a light source. I don't know. It's kind of lame. I thought it would have like a translocation item usage on there, but I guess not. Uh, so we also the year uh, the year of the dark ball things are out. Uh, you can buy those, buy your hat now, and then uh, let's. Close some of these windows here. All right, let me switch to my 125 persona real quick. There we go. Now, I suspect I'll have to zone here. Let me camp out real quick and camp back in. Lock. That stupid ta target of target window always changes. Log out. To get auto grant to actually do anything. I might already have all the AAs from Terra of Lickland anyway, so there we go. <laughs> it looks terrible. <laughs> Didn't update his appearance. I don't even know if his gear got switched over, honestly. I don't even know if I'm using the right, uh, right, right client for this uh, server anyway. I have a I have different clients set up for each different server. Things a little easier for me. 
Come on, get in. There you go. All right, so we did re receive some AAs here. Mystical Tuning 26, 27, and 25. Let's go here to our AAs. Don't see much else uh, being auto-granted there, so that's unfortunate. Uh, in other news that uh, should be apparent to some people, Hardcore Heritage Phase 2 starts today. Phase 1 ended start. Phase 2 is Clan Cr uh, Crutchbone, Permafrost, Mistmore, and Nagafin's Lair are all 80 plus, I would say. 70, 70 or 80 plus. I don't know where that, <laughs> that level goes. So the list is still ruined in uh, like 105 plus. So, you know, that's just how it is right now during this time of the month. Uh, but fortunately, it all ends on uh, Wednesday, July 3rd, right before the 4th. And uh, I'm going to go out here on a limb and say from July 4th until, let's say, this the 2nd, or the 9th right here, there will be an experience bonus going on. Uh, it'll be probably 76%. I'm going to take a wild guess, and I'm just going to guess it right now. Uh, if we go here to the news on the thing, and then we go like back in time, uh, this is this website is like so terrible at like <laughs> doing anything. Uh, like I have to hit like load more to get news right, and they're not even sorted in like what I would consider chronological order sometimes. So it's you know a little bit much, and I can't even go. I can't even go back. So this is from 2019. This is from 21, this is from 23, 23, 23, 24. Like, <laughs> where's everything else? Where did it all go? Did they delete everything? Did they delete all the old news? Um, here, let's do this. Let me pull out a tab. Let's see here. Uh, I request 76% exponents. All right, where is the where is the news? There we go. Here we go. All right, these come from Reddit. There we go. Here's a. Oh, this Reddit post is perfect. All right, we'll we'll show this one. So thanks to Piffenstein two years ago for posting this. So for the most part, these 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 things go every year. It's the exact same thing. If we go down to July, so the 1st to the 8th, 76% bonus experience. Um, and it seems to be the same for 2021, 2022. I'm guessing it was about the same for 2023. It's a week of bonus. Uh, there's another one in, uh, what is that, September. So 100% bonus there for a few days. I think that's Labor Day. And then uh, there's an event that goes on there. And then it looks like October will be the next. And then right in at the end of uh, Thanksgiving, uh, during Thanksgiving, will be another one. So those are the bonuses that are coming up, you know, in the next little while. Uh, definitely take advantage of the experience bonuses to make sure you get all your uh, leveling knocked out. And, you know, AAs or, you know, you're on the new TLP, get all the, you know, get 60. You have until August Oh, no, actually, no, it's not even August, right? Uh, like, if we look at this thing, right? So, on Teak, the, uh, right here, no, where is it? August, yeah, right here, August 15th, uh, Shadows of, um, Sh Scars of Valius comes out. And if we go another, like, two months, <laughs> uh, da, 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 it's like, where is it at? I, I spend a little bit of time doing this. Like the unlock schedule is kind of crazy, honestly. This is so long in between. I'm already bored with Kunark, and I'm I'm not even sixty yet. That's how uh, that's how it goes. Oh my god, I can't find it. Maybe it's no December. Thorn T. There we go. So planes of power unlocks in December on Teague. So if you go back like a month, like October. There we go. Yeah. October is Luckland. 
So, uh, I mean, you don't even have to worry about getting 60 until, uh, until December. So you should, you should have multiple characters all the way leveled up at that point. I mean, it, it goes pretty quick. Uh, but there you go. That's the update notes and a little bit of news and a little bit of interactive media. Uh, thank you very much for watching and please have a fantastic day.